Ten Cloverfield Lane is directed by Dan something. I don't remember his name. It stars Mary Elizabeth Weinstead, John Goodman, and John Gallagher Jr. And I'm not going to tell you what it's about because that's the whole mystery of it. But I will tell you, it involves a bunker and it relates to the movie Cloverfield. I mean, they're two different movies entirely, but they're in the same world. So, they are blood-related, as J.J. Abrams has said. So, that's all I'm going to tell you about the movie. And this has been a highly anticipated movie for many people, including myself. I was really looking forward to seeing a Cloverfield sequel-ish. Not really at all, though. But, I will say that I'm incredibly satisfied with what I have gotten. And Ten Cloverfield Lane is one of the most suspenseful and tension-filled movies I've seen in a while. And, holy crap, is it... It's an incredibly unpredictable, but a very well-written movie, I guess. It's very sharply written with great comedic timing, unsurprisingly. But what it does is it takes, the like, a, a ball of tension and just winds and winds, and it just keeps... Get, Here's this ball of tension right up here. It keeps it right there. You have to deal with it for like an hour and forty-five minutes. Just oh god, it's a hard, it's a hard analogy. But that's how I felt watching the movie. It's a really interesting experience. It's not one that I can really describe. It's very. I don't know how to explain it. The whole movie is essentially a. A mystery of sorts, kind of. You don't really know who's telling the truth. There's a bunch of different stories going around. And that is what makes the movie so suspenseful. Is because you don't really know what's going on. It's a very, um... Yeah, it's an unpredictable movie. Every time you think the movie's... Um, you, every time you think you figured it out, you haven't at all. It is very um good in that, in that regard. It is very well directed. And it has some of the most suspenseful sequences I've ever seen. And it is just a great filmmaking. I can't really say too much because you can't go too detailed about the plot. But you can't really describe the movie because it's so different and interesting in, in its experience. At the beginning, it's very visually told, surprisingly. Um, I'm not going to tell you what's going on, but there's a scene where Mary Elizabeth Winstead is kind of rushing to do something, uh, and I'm not going to, that's all I'm going to leave it at, but it's very visually told in that scene, and I thought it was very good, and the kind of comedic sense they used for John Goodman's character was perfect, I loved it, it took, it, it didn't subtract from any of the tension whatsoever, it kept it there, it was, it was up in the air the whole time, that's a really bad analogy, God, but we'll keep it in, so, yeah, it's, and like the comedy really doesn't take away from any of the tension that's happening and there are some very thrilling moments and the final act is just awesome it's action packed it's thrilling it's how do I put this I don't want to people might be a little disappointed I'll just say that because it doesn't give you 100% feeling of finality but to me, that doesn't really matter, that, honestly. But, because uh, they're making more movies from what I've heard, so it's not supposed to be an unexplained movie. It's not going to have a bunch of plot holes. They're, they're making more. So, I, but I really wanted more, I can tell you that, because I got really into this story. It's really engaging, and I can't say too much about the movie, but you just got to see it for yourself and and the, but yeah. basically, if I want to describe it in like one little sentence here, the whole movie is a feeling of uh, of not being secure. It's it, you don't feel like you're safe, and the whole movie is encapsulated in this like bunker, pretty much. So it has a very claustrophobic feel, and you don't know who's um telling what side of the story, what like, truthful, or how to what extent. Are they telling us to um very I telling telling their stories, and that is very well done and um very well written and directed and yeah so I'm gonna give Ten Cloverfield Lane an A. So 
Yeah, Tim Cloverfield Lane. Um, my only problem I actually have with the movie is that in the second act, it does kind of lag a little. But besides that, it's a very well, um, very well made movie with um great tension, and I loved it. And I didn't really express my love, but I mean, honestly, it's it's past eleven. I'm not gonna scream about it, but it's a great movie. Go see it this week. I'm gonna go see it again. I I really want to see it again. I want to pick up on things I missed for. Um, like links to Cloverfield, cause in the final act you can kind of find some, and then I looked, up, I researched it a little, and there are some nods to it, uh, to like the uh, backstory and everything. But yeah, so that's my review of Ten Cloverfield Lane. Without making this thing too long, but yeah, so peace.